prior to this year, mm. people would say top 100 level, but not going to be top 100. And he's been in this like void for years where he's been, you know, a player who took a little while to get Tri-State PR uh -huh. and then finally got it and then kind of stayed at that level. But at mm. Shine 2023, Jude had one of the best runs of an unranked player probably ever at a Shine where okay. he beat Zuppy and Grab. Wow. Okay. And so, as someone who was not even seated to make top 64, like, that's crazy. Yes. That's very crazy. And, I mean, we're already kind of seeing that happen right here. Yeah. Jude's already putting that work in. Got a good amount of damage on Vu. And Vu is doing the, the aggro instance right now. Mm -hmm. But he is off stage. This is a dangerous spot for him. Yeah. He has a very interesting play style against Falco specifically because he has a lot of experience in region with players like 404 Prey, FMB 5K, etc. Yeah. And he doesn't really like dash dance that much against Falco. He kind of just runs at Falco sometimes. Okay. And it doesn't benefit him a lot of the time, but he'll do it. Mm. Well, with that said, I mean, it probably is uh, something that also a Falco like Vu might not even be interested in. Um, be aware about, of or aware of yeah and then he might end up actually working yeah so that's that's interesting Ooh, i thought he was going to do the turn around with a ledge i think he was trying to and then yeah that must have been a misinput there on his part i love the run up down tilt i don't know if it was a shield poke or if he jumped out of shield and just got him up that but it worked out really well and he's up a stock now yep one full stock lead but um i mean as we know with mark this can go this can go away easily mm -hmm. and he's staying right on crouch. top of him not letting that go yeah, like, see, Jude dash dances once or twice, and then just runs it. Like, he doesn't wait it out or anything. He doesn't really try to take space uh, by, like, take space and do nothing. He will run in and just try to attack the Falco immediately. Mm. And I want to see if Vu is able to adapt to this. Because I feel like a lot of Falcos are more prepared for the, the, the less swingy, but staying in place marks. Yeah. That's exactly kind of what I was trying to aim at, was that maybe it's going to be something that he's just not used to, and it's yeah. going to come back and bite him in the butt. It's a very unusual play style, for sure. Wow, he still would have made that back. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, it was good DI on his part. Oh, just mm. goes for the run-up counter, but Boo not ready to punish. A little bit too low right there, but he's got a he's got a fresh stock to work with, and we already seen him do some massive punishes on Boo, so. Yeah. And now Jude's staying in the corner, not trying to take center stage, and Vu is ready for it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate for Jude, but very fortunate for Vu. It was two stocks right there, actually, that he just went a little bit too low. Yeah. That's an easy error to fix, so going into these next few games, see how he adjusts that. Speaking of error, his, uh, I don't know if you knew this, his old tag was error. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you were trying to do that on purpose. No, no, I did not know. Clever. And Vu kind of owning right now. Yeah, that was a sick stock. Went yeah. right into the down down smash, and that's the thing about down smash. Down smash sends you at such a weird angle. And, and it's, it's so fast. Yeah, it's so fast, and people aren't really used to it. So if you're DI'ing for, like, I don't know, F smash or something, you might get messed up on the down smash. Mm -hmm. Wow, the up air into dare. Vu running away with this, but Sumpy Jute's big moment. Oh, I was hoping for a... doesn't get that up air. He was hoping for him to actually bounce up from when he did that down air, but he didn't go anywhere there. Okay, another big opening. Could you get the kill? Wow. Short hop fair, just to get that damage in. Yeah. And a really good air dodge on Vu's part of the from losing the stock, but... Probably over? Yep. I like the idea on a Vu's part to try to go directly up. So if Jude upbeat him, he'd be able to tech the side on FD and get back. But just a little too low. At the very least, he could actually get more damage, too. Yeah, true. It would have been some extra credit just to hit that upbeat. For sure. Not that he really needs it. I mean, he's at almost a full two-stock lead on FD. A full two-stock lead on FD. Yep. Which is not, not normal. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can is, tell this that is Vu Jude's is, pick right here. So Vu is experienced in this matchup, as you can see. Mm -hmm. No, Vu loves FD too. Vu just Vu he loves FD. Yes, Vu excels Ooh. on FD. I mean, we can see it now. He's kind of cooking with this combo. Yep. I, 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 I try to take him here, you know, and it's uh, doesn't work out for me. Jeez. Oh, great CC. Oh, Shine yes. side B. <laughs> 
<laughs> Love oh. that one. Yeah, and he actually read it right. He read it right to go to the left, but it was just Falco was a little bit too slow, so he wasn't able to punish it. Mm -hmm. He's trying to style right now. Looking oh, like Solar Beam versus Alex. Wait, oh, is he just dead? Uh, okay. Yeah, something could definitely happen there. Yeah, he was just a little bit too late on that forward air, and it went. Uh, he got hit by the reverse hitbox of it. So Vu's air, do air, uh, air dodge about three times now. Yeah, um, it has worked out. It's probably something that uh, Jude needs to take into account. Yeah. Wow, I cannot believe uh, yes. he made it back from that. It was such a sick edge guarding <laughs> So sequence. many mix-ups there. But Vu is hanging on with his dear life right now, trying to make as much of this stuff as possible. Oh, and, wow. no. That could have definitely gone towards Jude's way. Yeah. Could have taken that stock and then, you know, gone into a chain grab, got that early percent. Could have still taken that game, honestly. Yeah. He's going to Pokemon Stadium. That's so interesting. I feel like you go back to FD here. Yeah. Um, I definitely must have felt like the uh, offense from Vu was a little bit too much. Probably didn't feel comfortable going back to it. I guess so. I think he could have definitely done it, though. All right. Mm. Doesn't get the up tilt in time. A little bit too slow, and Vu will eat him up for that, but doesn't get the kill. The super long nair coming out from Vu covered so much space. And Jude was ready for it this time. He positioned perfectly for it and got the whip punish. Oh. oh. Dare to dare. Unfortunate. Yeah, look at Vu, just taking up the airspace, doesn't mind shooting a few lasers. He does not really care to overextend here. Yeah, I want to see more dash dancing off Jude. I feel like he's only dash dancing once or twice each time and then immediately going in. Yeah, and he's dash dancing at a further distance. Yeah, and it's like, I, I feel like Vu is ready for the pattern. There's not, there's not a lot of uh, take space that I'm seeing. And I feel like as Mars, we really want to take space against spaces. Well, especially against Falco, because yeah. they're going to try to cover that space with lasers. Yeah. And if you don't have it, then you just what? You're going to be getting hit by lasers the entire time. Exactly. And then it becomes laser into what? Laser into everything. Yeah, like laser, laser into, into there. Right there. And now Boo's got him in the corner, and now Jude has to get in. Or, like we saw earlier, even fair. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Vu's I'm going to take my time. I'm not worrying about anything. I'm going to hold my shield up here. It's actually really interesting that Vu is the one who's taking more time with these approaches, and Jude is kind of the one who's running in and trying to get like the, the, the stray hit. Yeah. When and you know the what? Opposite. You know what? He didn't play like that at all in the FD game. Yeah. So he's really mixing things up on Jude. He's not giving Jude any time to, to um, adapt to it. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate SD on Jude's part. And you know, he wears that calm tag because it reminds him to stay calm during these sets. Because he, he plays the game and loves the game so much, but he's very hard on himself, especially in these moments. So he wears that calm tag to remind himself, like, to stay calm, to uh, stay composed no matter what. And yeah. we'll see if he can do it. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a taxing game. It's very fun. It's very rewarding. But when you play competitively, when you're playing serious, you want to do, you want to do well. That's you right. know, exactly. and you put, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. I've felt that before. Especially out of region, because Jude doesn't really travel too much. Yeah. At least this year he hasn't. And this is one of his big uh, out of region tournaments after this, uh, after his shine run. Yeah. That dare is going to send him all yeah. the way down. Super high percent at that point. I think he tried to DI it, but it's a little too high percent. Okay. Dash tag in. Can he get the kill? I love that edge cancel bear. So even with this, well, it's not really too much of a lead, but Vu is still sticking to his game plan. Yeah. Not changing anything up, not trying to overextend. This is where Jude really wants a lethal knockdown or a grab. And this is where he's got to make it happen. This. He's missed the textures a couple times. Great slide off air dodge on Vu's part. Yeah, he got out of that. Tacked on 38%, but he was able to get out of it. Oh, man. Oh, that's Here we the go. grab. This is where Jude has to make it happen. Yeah. And who really needs to take this if he does not want to go? There it goes. Okay, just, just like runs that. Runs up, F smashes. Yep. Yeah, Jude was mixing it up before and playing a little more passively, doing like dash dance once or twice, going in. Mm -hmm. There, Jude just ran in, F smash. Who was ready for his old pattern and yeah. just died off. Yeah. 
might die off this too, but a very crafty air dodge plus wall jump will get him back to stage. Again, that wow. air dodge is being the saving grace for Boo. Is he gonna get a kill off this? Almost. Almost. Maybe Jude gets the kill. So much defensive counter. There's a lot of back and forth going on right here. I love the counter hit shine on this one. Like a wake up shine knowing Jude will try to jump to platform and go for attack this. Yeah. So Jude actually did something interesting there where he just kind of jumped back to the ledge. He didn't bother to come on stage. Looks like he's trying to slow things down a little bit right here. Yeah. And try to, he's, I think he's trying to use the invincibility to get back on stage without getting hit by a laser. Or see if Gu is going to overextend his throw and attack through the ledge. And it seems like Gu's not going to do that. He's very, very stable in that spot near the ledge where he can't get fair and he continues shooting lasers. Yeah, right at the tip of the platform. Yeah, Jude is That's the sweet spot for him. Exactly. The man loves the platform, what can I say? Here he goes. Okay. I love that laser. Like, he knows that if he goes for a dash in uh, aerial, that Jude can try to counter at him. So just step on the laser damage and keep your center stage. Yeah. No, he's doing that, and he's doing the top platform deal, actually. Yeah. He's starting that up, so. I mean, on Dreamland, it's going to work out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Wow, there's that down down smash. Yeah, the invincible Falco legs. Because you know Falco's legs are invincible on the down smash? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, so Falco's legs are invincible when he down smashes. Wow. So he wasn't able to get traded uh, on the pair. Very cool. Okay, it's holding center stage with these lasers and now mixing it up, going in and might get a... Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so Jude needs to do a little bit more with that kind of stuff. When he sees there's a flub like that coming out from Boo, he definitely needs to capitalize a bit more than yeah. what happened there. But Boo's just playing around. Yeah. This is exactly what he does to me. Capes on the platform, makes you chase after him, and, and then you go after so him. It's so annoying then... to go after because he's got the top platform to retreat to, and Marth can't really cover that very well. No. And then you do go after him, you get back here, like what just happened. Yeah. So. It was also in the last stock where Jude tried to full hop corner to cover Boo's side B and couldn't make it there in time because of how slow Marth is. You gotta deal with the laser game and him retreating to the top platform. Yes. Yeah, so hard to deal with when you don't have a lead. And if you're gonna be, if you're below him, guess what? You're gonna get a dare. Yeah. But Jude has almost made the three stock comeback before and he's slowly building it back up. You see the one clean grab and maybe a quick kill and the game's even. That top platform just changed the pace of Ooh, this. Wow. But that grab changed the pace that again. Was, yes. That was sick. We have kind of an even game? Yeah, no. He's just got to bide his time and try to work around this um, top platform Ooh. play that he's got. I can't believe he got that grab. Dead even game. Oh. Mm, all the rolls up until the point he gets right next to him. And grabs the ledge. And really just like that. Clean on Boo's part. Just like that. Three, one. So that was a very volatile game. Yeah. Because we were seeing Vu play very safe, very slow, kind of just picking away at Jude. But then the moment Jude could get in, guess what? That stock was gone. Yeah. And it also works that way with Falco, though. Falco kind of goes in. He saw that FD game, played very, very aggressive, and just ate up Jude on that. Yeah. So it's a very volatile match.